I had to blow it out for this one. Welcome, my people. We're back with Drinks with Kills. And today, we got a king in the building. We got a boss in the building. We have the chairman. <laughs> M.I. The big Abaga, homie. The big homie. Chairman. Through my Chuck city. Through my years in this industry, I will always say that this is one of the big homies. And one of the jobs of the big homies, what they're supposed to do when you arrive in the industry is to make you feel welcome. Hey, and cheers to that. Always, he's always made me feel welcome. Cheers always. to that, my brother. Cheers even to that. When, even, when, even when we disagree, his approach to me has always been as the big homie. Am I? let's talk about it. There are many other ways that it, the conversation could be, but you always have that. And I, I, I respect you, I honor you. I think this is beautiful that you're doing this. Yeah, I'm glad to be you. here. Let's you. fucking go. Am I, am I, am I, am I, everybody, come on, come on, come on. Let's have am I, am I, appreciate that. I, I, want, I, want, I don't really have a lot of people in the industry that hype me like that, yo. Yo, can we do that again? Yeah. <laughs> no, bro, I tell you that one of the things I see recently is, is and this is no shade, no disrespect, you know, nobody should take my words and make it something else. Is there's the narrative, and I get it. When a young kid that made it by themselves mm -hmm. comes out and somebody say, "Oh, someone paved the way for you," mm -hmm. you're like, "What the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I went through to get here?" Mm -hmm. But I know it's the context. I know that someone paved the way. They don't I get know. it. They don't get it. That I know that Two Face used to be somebody, at shows because of somebody else who did it. Yo, I know that Two Face used to be at shows and used to run mm. away from the show. Mm. 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 I know that the first few labels, I know that label, the label guys didn't know what they were doing. The mm. artists had to build uh, mm -hmm. relationships. That mm -hmm. people had to enter bus mm -hmm. and go down to where rhythm used to be. Remember, mm -hmm. um, in like inside that, the bush, bro, by the by the, uh, by the water. You leave 4 a.m. to get there. I know that. And our bad road. I know the, all those first shows when people were making 30k, 40k, 50k, when people were traveling, risking their lives, going to all these places for shows. I know. You have to do and radio. I don't think it's you fair. Do you know why? Because if you have a platform and you say no one paved the way, the young kids that listen say, oh, that's true. And that mm. part of history gets written now. Mm. So every mm. time I get a moment mm. in front of one of the OGs mm. to be like, these are the guys. I was with Ilblis the other day. I'm like, mm -hmm. these are the guys. These are the first rap songs that we heard. Mm. You know what I mean? The first, 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 first relationship with China O. Oh, China O oh is very important mm. because it's what connected Nigeria to South Africa. Oh, right there. Which allowed us <laughs> to go to South Africa and realize how we could improve our videos. Bro. One cheers, of the cheers first to South artists. Africa. Cheers when, to South Africa. When they came at first, the first people that were performing was this guy. This guy will have me to see hyping him up behind. Go look at the tapes, it's there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was in Jaws when this happened. So I, I need people to know, I need people to get their flowers. That's gangster, y'all. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yo, cheers again, bro. Cheers again, bro. Cheers. You know, that's actually a great way to start the show, bro. Talking about the industry. Um, you came up, your startup, you just mentioned it was Jaws, you know? And unfortunately for cats like me, who, yeah, I grew up in Nigeria, but went back out and then came back. So I'm on the comeback. I didn't, I was in Lagos, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't really have access to, or even know that, ah, Omo, there's this huge hip hop community in Jaws. Don't forget, forget your big pass. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't know, but I remember having a conversation with you where you, you broke it down for me and you were like, yo man, we were out there and we were grinding out there, but we knew that we had to come to Lagos to break. See you guys. And when you saw guys, you was like, now is the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, J Town, what a beautiful, like, J Town was a picture of like where you want to go as a kid. Yeah. It's completely safe. There's no arm robbery. There's no, like, as a kid, I remember that the only thing you're scared of being out at night is that your parents would be upset. Uh. That's, that's, the, that's the danger. A um, lot of creativity. I saw this is legendary gospel artist Panam. I saw him play as a kid. And I yeah, know that is. yeah, legendary gospel guy. Yeah. I saw him play as a kid. And, you know, so we just started making music. Then I, I also went to college, came back, uh, had a different experience. Mm. But when I came back, you were in Chicago, right? I, I, around Chicago, around Grand Chicago. Rapids, Michigan. Michigan, yeah. okay, Grand yeah. Rapids. Are you was in yeah. the bougie area. <laughs> ah, you were in the suburbs. No, 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 no. I mean, it was tough. It was still. I mean, with the waterfalls and all that. Racist <laughs> as shit. Yeah, but, um, I can imagine. Yeah. So 
I come back to Nigeria trying to figure out, I, I have this music thing that I do. Mm. Jesse's popping off in the gospel arena, him and he has a group of guys. Um, they're rapping, singing. And so I just came back with that. For the Lord. For the Lord, my brother. Mm. I came back, <laughs> for the Lord, I love you. Um, I came back and literally in our, in our first, like our vision statement, we were like, we're Christians that want to go into the secular world mm. and, and have Christian messages. Mm, mm, this is mm. in our loopy founding conversation. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to go and be Christian gospel artists, but we want to be Christians in that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, man. And you guys started doing it in, in Lagos. I mean, I had for the context of Adidas Dawn and what they've done. Yeah. But there needed to be like a new, like a new hip hop energy. Yeah. In the yeah, middle yeah. of what was happening, like the bands them were crushing it at the time. Yeah. Two Face was king in P Square. Mm. There was just no rappers. And then I think you guys came. And it was very New York. It was very like the t-shirts, the true religion jeans, you know, very stripped down. Um, and I remember when you did My Name Is, it had that the DMX flesh of my flesh sort of, you know, like, so I just instantly connected. Uh, I did it to myself. Yeah. You know, I actually did it to myself. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, you know what's funny, man? That whole DMX um, stigma is bittersweet. It's bittersweet because, yeah, like, I loved DMX. I listened to DMX coming up. He was definitely one of the guys I looked to, you know, as far as, like, content. And we were very similar physically, so he was, like, a big bro. Besides the, the Buster Rhymes and the Biggie Smalls and the rest. But on the, other, on the flip side, watching him go through what he went through and not getting his real in the industry, you know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was a huge eye opener. And then having to live through something similar, you know, because you, you got to admit, the, the business of the industry isn't what you thought it was going to be. It's a different thing. I, first, I mean, you, when you're a young kid, you think that there's a boogeyman, like there's a mafia and they control everything. Mm -hmm. Then you enter and you realize, oh no, there's no mafia, but that's worse. <laughs> like, like, that's worse. Like, because then it means that anybody that wants it's to not gonna, mafia it's not gonna, yeah, can yeah, yeah. just be like, like mafia still means there are rules. There's ultimately like mm -hmm, a don, mm -hmm. but there's no don. So one guy can just be like, I'm the don of this area, mm -hmm. and just do whatever he wants to. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what's happening? Um, but man, I, I needed to survive, bro. Like I came to Lagos, and I'm like, I'm not going back. My it was loopy. Gonna, it was loopy. My, my brothers are gonna come meet me here. We're gonna set up. I had no one, man, when I came to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Literally, the only person I knew in Lagos was Jeannie. So the day Jeannie said, you know how people have an uncle or have family members? He said, no one. I'm the first. I'm ground zero. You can stay with me. <laughs> Once he gave you that one. He just said you can. So, and, and God bless Jeannie, man. That's another person I have to give the flowers. He's a good soul. He, yo, he just he met me a couple times. He said, come. So I stayed in his house for four years. He's my he's my uncle. He's my, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ice Prince, Jesse, Abuchi, they all came. We mm -hmm. all lived in the house. That was mm -hmm. our incubator. Not just us. In Sule. In, in, we started in Sule, but he told us, and then okay. he moved to Obanikoro, okay, okay, uh, okay. Pamgo. Yeah. And, uh, That's the one I came to. Yeah, the Pixel Chaos guys were also there. The guy, Max and Ike, who do like... Yeah, Max. They you know, do that so your, much that, production. That your video. That yeah. Max, I've yeah. always wanted him to do a video for me solely because of that video. Both him and his brother are dope, man. So that's what it was, man. Just young guys helping each other out. And those guys also had a reputation back in the day that if they do your video, just wait, let them give you the video. And don't be rushing them. Don't be Next rushing them. Like, Max takes like eight months. This is a real thing. It's a real, real thing. Max takes He's so never long satisfied with it. No, no, no. Yeah. He, but also the things he wants to do are really hard. Mm -hmm. Max is one of the guys that will say to you, yeah, I'll get it done in three weeks when it's impossible. So when you really understand the technology, what he's trying to do, mm. you'll be like, oh, okay. So he was really time. just... In fact, when he made Safe, I don't know if you remember the T-Pain and Lil Wayne song that had bro, the flowers. Like, bro, come you guys remember that video? I, I see the two, so, the two videos that... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Motion graphics, CGI, all that shit. When the video came out, he was like, crap, I have to do something else. So he started Safe again. And think about all the animation. I was in the middle of microphones. There's a tank that would come out, planes yeah, flying over yeah. me, standing on top of you. Mm -hmm. Think about the processing part that yeah, you needed to lot. do that it in 2009. <sighs> you know, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, shout out to Max, man. Shout out to Max, man. So you came to Lagos. You signed up with Chalk City. 
how did I like? How did I even happen? How did they even find you? Yeah, man. Jock City happened in uh, in uh, in Abuja, in Jos. Jos. So I'm just a hustler, man. I've come back to Nigeria, you know. With that Yankee I job, mentality. The Yankee mentality. Gotta get so I got a grind. job. Yeah. I was earning maybe at the time fifteen thousand naira a month. Mm. So I meet this guy called Doing what? Just working at an internet cafe. Okay, okay. Like helping people come check your email, stuff like that. Um, and it was a little bit because in Nigeria, you know, people don't work when you're young. So I come back from Yankee. I have that fresh Yankee boy vibe, but I'm working. Those guys come to check their mail. I'm the guy like, yo, yo, can you help me? You know what I mean? Which is one of the things we have to destigmatize. Mm. We have to destigmatize work. Cleaning. I cleaned when I was in. I was a janitor in America. Yeah, me too. I, I cleaned I did that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I would send money home to my 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 brothers. Yeah. Done it. Yeah. I do it. So when we when we destigmatize that in Nigeria, when people are like, no, I'll go and work. Oh yeah, you have toilets for me to clean. I'll do it. And then you pay me, and when we can destigmatize that, mm -hmm. it's gonna move us forward. I'm above that. Yeah, bro. And you see, I can't do that. I can't. I can't. Can, 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 no, yeah, you know, the last <laughs> job I did, the last job I did before we came, we were cutting grass for one rich guy. The guy was paying, this is 2003, he was paying 10 bucks an hour with overtime. And, and overtime, overtime was up to you. So you work eight hours, mm -hmm. you pay an hour and a half mm -hmm. on everything above that. Mm -hmm. If you work another eight hours, up to you, you pay you. That's like, crazy. You know, do you know how I was stacking up? I think I came home with like $700 cash after buying mean, things for everyone. And then, um, man, look, we've done everything in Yankee now, all kinds of jobs, man. Waited, bartended, worked in the office, landscaping, deliveries, sales, door to door sales, cleaning toilets, etc., etc., etc. Niger, these young ones, even if they are coming from a poverty stricken home, right? It's still about who Momsi and Popsi know, how they go make the hook up, how they go help you get the job. I'm like, damn. But if you think about it, there's really there, there are really not many facilities for people to actually find work if they want to in Nigeria. The culture isn't there, like you stated, but even if the culture was to be bred, right? Like, yeah. how, but, many, but, how many sites can I go to right now and find about, listings of jobs out there? Yeah, but think about it in, 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 Nigeria, in uh, Yankee, right? Mm. You start training kids to sell lemonade. Right? Mm -hmm. Every summer they come home, hey, you make yourself useful. Mm -hmm. Go cut the lawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the it's, there's a like, culture of that. There are a lot of jobs yeah, that are not apparent. Yeah. Until you say to yourself, I want to work. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this guy needs, oh, I come to this place and all the cars here are dirty. Mm -hmm. Or oh, there's trash that's like holding up this thing. I knock on the doors, hey, me and these guys, we don't have anything we're doing. This is what will happen, Yankee. It's not crazy, Yankee, to yo, see, it, it's, yo, it's, we knock on the door, let's clean this up for you. It's reflective in the music industry. Talk to me. Development. Mm. Non existent. Mm. I was going to even ask you, Black Bones, he's. Black Bones, we got Black Bones coming in, right? He's on Chalk City, right? He is. Okay. He is. So, would you say he got development? And if he did, would you say he's one of the few? Probably, maybe only? In the industry, because nobody's really developing artists yeah, anymore. That's true. Nobody's that's true. artists are just pop, pop, pop. Ah, you, you can't sing. Come, let's shoot video. <laughs> Black Black Bones was different though. Yeah. From from the time, and so I signed him in 2016, 17. Mm. Early, mm. like may no, it might have been 18, but early. Um, AQ had told me about him. And then okay, okay, okay. Told me about him, mm -hmm. and then. The next day, I went to a Vector concert, actually, mm -hmm. and backstage, I, I, I was walking by, someone said, oh, man, I'm Black Bones. Oh, cool, collect his number, come see me. He came to the office, he played me a record, he played me a record. I was like, oh, that's interesting. It was very trappy. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't know if trap is going to work in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But then, then just out of pass, I said, how many songs have you recorded? Because I could tell his skill, but I wasn't sure about the sound. Then he said, what do you mean? How many songs have I recorded? Do you mean this here? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, this year, he said, 300. This was like, June. chill, 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 chill. So when he said that, I'm like, you, you we already know. 300. Like, There's nobody that records 300 yeah, songs. Chill. That's not gonna make it. Like, yeah, we're yeah. working that hard. So I was like, okay, go meet Toda. And I said to myself, if, if, if he goes through the ANR team and one of them comes back to me and is like, yo, this kid, mm -hmm. we gotta sign him. The next day, three people came, like, yo. I don't even understand the music, but this, there's something about this guy. Yeah. I think the person that's the best example of development from within the Chocolate City coffers mm. is CK. 
CK, okay. So CK's first record is a song. Um, I like it or not, if you're my kid. It's like high life mm-hmm. for CK's and Ido, Ido Ki. Okay. Didn't really catch on. Mm. His next song is Container Don't Lie. Don't Lie. Container Don't Lie. Oh, God. Streets. Mm-hmm. Starting to catch a little bit. Mm-hmm. But if you think about CK now, it's a completely different image from both those two. Mm. And, and how much time in between those two? Say a year and a half. Okay. So he's trying mm-hmm. and he's failing, which mm-hmm. is part of what I think that a development should help cover an artist where you fail. Mm-hmm. Trial and error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do it closed mm-hmm. in the closed section so that people don't see it. Mm-hmm. But CK, CK went through a lot, a lot of like criticism. You're a Chocolate City artist, you're, but he just kept being open to change. And then right at, uh, about the time when I was leaving Chocolate City, him and I were, would travel on tour together and I was like, who do you like to hang around? Mm-hmm. And he, I was like, oh, you're just a kid. You're, you're, you're a college kid. Just make music for How college you? girls. How old is he? I think he's, he's young. Mm-hmm. He's, I mean, he moved to Lagos when he was 16, 17. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so he might be 22 now, maybe, something like that. But I was like, just make songs for those girls. The first record he made, boom. By now, he's already figured out his style. He's figured record. out his approach. He's figured out, so it's that, it's that development. I think he's the best example. If you look back at him, you see he changed a lot. But by the time we signed Black Bones, he was already, he was already headed this way. Black 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 Bones. Bones was I like Black Bones. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I can't wait to talk to him. Special artist, yeah. special artist. You though, you had a lot of controversy around you. Quite a bit. What? Yes, nah. <laughs> uh, I mean, no. even myself, I was a hitter at one point. At one point, I think it was that long. It was that long. Maybe about, maybe for about like a week. <laughs> yeah, him, me and me, me and have had have had moments where we've spoken for two hours. Ah, we've even had one moment where I even cried for you, sir. Yeah. 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 But I think that that's why. I think that's why, I think that like, our bond is different. Yeah. Our bond is I different. think that that's why, like, you imprinted on me mm. in that moment. Because mm. for someone that, like, when people talk about like masculinity, mm. like, if, <laughs> if you guys don't know, Ikechuku is not the guy to fuck with. <laughs> if you don't know, if you guys don't know, let me tell you guys. Ah, Jesus. You know how men are like, oh, I can't. Bro, you know say what they do now. You they arrange me now. Because <laughs> the boys we want to try. They 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 they, they watch you. Me, I don't own now. He's not the guy at all. I'm telling you, ask people, ask other artists, they will all tell you. So to see you lean into vulnerability mm. in conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of being like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Let's go. Knock him the fuck out. You were like, no, this hurt me. Yeah. And I remember we were just sitting down, you were like, this hurt me. And I, I was like, I expected something completely different. You know what I mean? I expected him to be like, yo, am I? Because I seen other people do that. When I see him, he's on sight. Yeah. And instead, you were just leaning to love. You were like, nah, this hurt me. This guy yeah. hurt me. But it's cool. And I, I remember that moment and I was like, respect. Yeah. You know, respect. And it's just, it yeah, you know what? You're right. It could have gone, it could have gone left. And that's the thing that I always that I used to always flag as I've gone older. Once I there was a there was a point in my life where the uh, the aggression and the violence, right, was affecting the career. Painting it black, tarnishing it. You know, so I had to like take a step back and be like, okay, bro, chill now. <laughs> you know. What is it that really triggers, you know, is your you wear your emotions on your sleeves, obviously. So what is it? You know, so I had to flag certain things. And um I can't lie, Sha. In Niger, you still need a certain amount of aggression to be able to handle things. It just needs to be more strategic than impulsive or toxic. It's a toxic country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a toxic country. And we, are, we. But I'm not. A, I'm not a bad man anymore. I mean, I'm a retired bad man. Okay. The other bad men are out there. You can talk to them. I don't. I don't call names. I'm not no snitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at me, don't I look soft? He's not the one, neither him or his brother, they are not the one. But don't I look soft? Speaking of brothers, yo, Jesse, yes, how sir. was that on a record? Because I have my own experience with my own brother. You know? So, yo, I mean, for you, like, how was it? Like, on the same label? Were, were you on the label first? Was he on the label first? Or did you bring him in? Like, okay. Okay. In fact, my first moment where I think I dealt with jealousy completely mm. was because imagine Jesse Jags being your brother. <laughs> Just imagine being Jesse Jags brother. Wait, imagine, wait, you were jealous of him? Yo, early on. So I <laughs> oh, come home. Oh shit, this is dope. I come home uh-huh. and I have this record, Crowd Mentality. 
<laughs> you know, I don't see you as a jealous motherfucker. Yeah. This is why I dealt with it. Okay. This is how I dealt with it. This is early on. Okay. This I come home, I have this record, Crowd Mentality. Mm -hmm. I know it's the record. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ice Prince is doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Other people are doing his thing, but this record. That was a dope ass like, record, yeah. This is still early before the song is out. Right, with those are for my guys. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got a mind of your own to beat this hard. Hey. And then Jesse's like, nice. Let me play your record. And he plays me a record called Ben Download. Oh, it's on his first album. Man. When he played that record, we all knew in the studio, everybody knew that, first of all, if we play this record, like if a label comes, so I'm doing all the work, organizing everything. If a label comes today and they hear all our music, they're going to sign Jesse over here. Even though it's not fair, MI deserves to be signed. Mm. Not Jesse. The better, the, 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 the better sonic music. But everybody knows that Jesse's the star. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Now, I'm still pitching to Chocolate City at the time. <laughs> so I have to make up my mind. Do I go and play the song to them? You have to now. So in that moment, I sat down to myself and I said, you know what, jealousy will not help me going forward. I need to get rid of it. Yeah. So I just got rid of it and I went and I played the record and they were like, great, this is amazing. He's going to follow you up. Mm. But before I played the record, I had to accept that when they heard the record, they would say, am I please? We need to stop. Let's push this one fast. This one will break the to, door down. Okay, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. No, I got Because you. I in got the you. moment, I had to be like, I remember that day itself. They were all busy and I had to, I had to keep reminding them. Mm. Hey, no, no, you need to listen to this song. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you guys stop what you're doing? You need to do this song. So I had to get rid of all that before. Yo, you helped me my whole career. You did the exact same shit that I did at Storm Records. Because even though Obi knocked a lot of my music initially, every time I brought it forward, you know, eventually we would find some route to get it through. But for me, it was like, it's not just about me, dog. The package is WFA. You get me? We gotta push NATO. You get me? Yeah, as much as he would insist, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta push you. We gotta, I'm like, yeah, 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 us, right? <laughs> you know, it's us. You get me? We, and and they blood. Are we allow, can we ask questions on the on the show? Yeah, he asked whatever you want to ask, bro. So so. Just coming in the industry, I saw you and Nito. Yeah. Like a team because the dynamic because of all the dynamics between you guys. Mm -hmm. Like in some ways at that time, even if I'd met your brother, I would see Nito as your brother more than more than your bro. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see where you're going. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some context. I got you. I got you. I got you. This is his bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, whatever happened? Why? Like, why did W W F A go through what it went specifically what what did it go through to me mm -hmm. it looked like 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 this is a good question mm. yeah. <laughs> but to me it looked like like wfa was bigger than storm it was it was you and nato together and it looked like mm -hmm. at some point there was a decision for wfa to no longer exist mm. Mm. It looked to me like, like okay, there's no more. Oh, okay, I, okay, that picture, WFA. that picture. I can, I can wrap that picture up for you real quick, so we don't really linger on it too long. Um, WFA, yeah, I created WFA and you know Uzi and NATO, but NATO was the one who gingered the Niger movement. You get me? And it was like. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to hear it really because I was still trying to do my MCA Universal thing. And um, regardless of how slow it was going, I still had promise. So I was like, all right, cool. But then I saw some Two-Face video on MTV2. Remember when they had MTV2, Channel 128? Yeah, I saw a Two-Face video and I was like, this is Nigerian? And I buzzed in, I was like, okay, go around, call your cousin, let's, let's do this. And we came out and Uzi didn't come with us. You get me? I'm, I'm not going to get into that why, but he didn't come. You get me? So we were out here and we were pushing. So that was even more. So, so, so you guys were collective as three? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's, that's what it was supposed to be, you know? And um, it was like, NATO has his, you know, we all got tattoos. Uzi has Academy on his arm. I got Academy on my back. I got Academy right here. NATO got an A right here. He was supposed to have A, K, A with fingers, you know what I'm saying? But I guess he couldn't tolerate the pain, but... <laughs> but, um... He's coming. Um, 
But yeah, so we came out and like I said, what, 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 you know, but um, as we were building, you know, we dropped My Name Is Ike Chuku. I dropped Nigel Boy. It didn't really take the way I wanted it to take. You know, we didn't really push it the way it was supposed to be pushed, so it didn't take. And I was just like, nah, you know, let's, let's, let's focus on NATO. You get me? I'm already I'm, I'm already getting bigger by them. My name is Ike Chuku. In fact, off of my entire first album, people don't remember anything else, but my name is Ike Chuku. You get me? So that was cool. That was good. Okay, it has left the mark. Let's focus on NATO. Let's make a mark for him. So. Uh, we just sitting on top first, and that was cool. I think Walt, I think Walt Banga shot that video, sitting on top. I think so. Yeah, and then um, that was in house. You know, Walt Banga was in house, with Storm Records. And then after that, you know my team. Yeah, so that that record came out for them, you know my team. And by then we were already, you know, the whole Mo hits and WFA, we had intertwined with each other and shit. So it was really, people were really looking at it like Mo hits Stone Records. You get me? And then all oh, that controversy started. Oh, they are together. Oh, they are a record label together. Oh, they are. But um, at one point, NATO used to warn me. He's like, yo, E, you're chilling with Mo hits niggas a little too much to the people. At least that's what they're perceiving. So then they're gonna be, where are you? Who are you? What are you doing? You know, yeah, come on. And I don't want to hear that shit because at the end of the day, I'm not really chilling with them niggas like that. I'm chilling with them niggas like these are my guys. Exactly. So, and shout out to Nato. Nato is one of the people that no matter what it is that he wants to say to you, he'll just say to you. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Nato will just be like, I think you're fucking up on this. Blah blah blah. He'll just say to you. 100%, 100%. Nah, and because he was like that, you know, I mean, at least he was getting it, it was that that was growing in him because me, I've always been that dude. You get me? Um, fact, fact yeah, facts, too. Always been that dude. 100%. Yeah. So, um, which even caused Quanta another time, but we're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. Let's not get into that, bro. Let's not get into that. I might have to put these back on. But, um, yeah, so. Um, there was one specific happening, one specific situation that went down, which was in London, where we kind of got into it, you know, and tension had already been rising before that, because I was giving Storm Records grief about not doing shit right, you get me? Right from before even, you know, from day one, you know, I already had my experience with record labels in the United States, I already worked for a few, you know, so I, I, I had the, the, the know-how and the wherewithal, you know, but it felt like I was being stifled, you get me? So I started getting agitated then. NATO would like try to calm me down, like, and at some point I started to, my, my, my perception of things started to get skewed because I'm like, yo, yo, okay, well, but that blood, so maybe that, eh, I'm getting, okay, eh, eh, okay. You know, that's how I felt, you know? And um, all of a sudden, I just kind of felt like there was a shift in the attention because stuff that we're supposed to be doing on Kill's project is not happening, but all of a sudden there's like a push in, and then me and, home, me and homeboy are not really speaking, you know what I'm saying? So it, was, it, it got weird for a bit because that was my brother, you get me? And then I couldn't talk to him. We can not sit down and find you know, common ground, it messed with me, kind of like, it messed with me. And um, I, I, I was with him in, uh, in telling you the dating. Mm -hmm. He'll remember the moment, because we were going, we we're on our way to go do, Tola was there, a few other guys were there. We went to, we went to go like do the, the sand dune bikes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the ATVs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we sat in the car, just me and him in the back, and I'm like, yo, what's going on? You and the big homie, what's, you know what's happening? Half of me just wanted to hear G's. Half of me, <laughs> but half of me is also I'm because concerned. again, yeah. to me, you guys are all superstars. You know what I mean? Like you guys are the reason I'm in Lagos. And he was quiet and he said, first thing he said, you know, I really love you, Chico. And like you know, in my in my later years, mm. when when we start to look back at like all the trauma that men go through, mm. that make us a certain way, that mm -hmm. help us mm -hmm. skew our perspectives mm -hmm. or whatever. 
you know, to have someone like even at those moments to be like first thing they say is well. Mm -hmm. If I can talk to it's you, real now. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it just it, it really touched me and it made me respect NATO a different way too. Because I'm also from that school of school of thought where I know that the big homies are gonna make mistakes. But it's always love. Yeah. So course. when I meet people like that too, where they like, I don't like what this person is doing, that's from their perspective. Mm -hmm. But the first thing they say is, but first of all, this is my OG. I love this guy, my OG. First yeah. of all, before we talk about this issue, first, I want you to know. And then I will get to the matter. So, but then after, after the love, <laughs> after the love, you will still matter, talk the cuckoo. The matter goes still go. Whenever you pass, one day go pass, we will look back and we'll be like, man. No, that day don't happen already. Yeah. So you spoke about the jealousy between you and your bro. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't really last. You got rid of that real quick because everybody oh, yeah. knows jealousy oh, yeah. know they have anybody. All right? That's why by the time I arrived, I would say Jesse Jackson is the greatest and I mean it. 100%. Uh, everybody I got you. Like I, when I you say that to me, tape. you say that to me all the time. Yeah, you I'll say, say it on tape, I'll say it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Jazz yeah. is the, the guy. Yeah. Because he is the guy. Yeah. People always thought that I wanted to be the greatest rapper. I never wanted to be the greatest rapper. I just wanted to be a great rapper. Hmm. You get me? Hmm. Or a great storyteller. Hmm. Or a great, you know, entertainer. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about being, I just wanted to be the best that I could be. It wasn't about being the best of the best of the best. If y'all decide that that's what it is, if not, hey, we'll just say he was good, he was great. You understand? But people don't believe that shit. Because for a very long time in my career, people who don't know me assume or presume that I'm arrogant. I'm that, mm, he wants everything. Look at him, look at him. Proud bastard. You understand? You know, but they don't know you. So that's why I want to ask. Like, when it came, oh, we've spoken about Jesse, but when it came to like people like Ice, or Brimo. Brimo. Wasn't that give you to you and Brimo at one point? I don't know if leaving the label or yeah, something I was like just, that. I was just Chocolate City. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Loyalty. But, 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 okay. Just loyal. Okay. If okay. you leave the family, okay. fuck you. Got you. That's, that's, it wasn't, there's nothing personal you between Brimo and I. That's yeah. what it is. Nothing personal between mm -hmm. Brimo and I. And even through the time when he was very anti Chocolate City, mm -hmm. <clears throat> He would tweet, he'd be like, the, my mentor, I miss you. And I, when I read the message, I would know that he's talking about me. Because he put something in there. What if he says, now nah, look at this fool. Look at, look, look at this idiot on top of Vicky Chukwu's show. <laughs> talking about, say that, uh, mentor. Can he be anybody's mentor? He's father. Eh? You, 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 who are you? Can you imagine this bastard trying to use me to shine? I, I, I think the thing about Brian Moore, mm -hmm. this is my perception. I haven't sat down with him, talked to him in a long time. Were you guys time. ever friends? Yeah, of course. Brian Moore lived with me for three years. He lived with me for three years. Before the three years he lived with you, did he know you? No, I just found him on watching TV one day. I saw a song. I said, who's this guy? I kept asking people about it. So one day I met Derele and Derele was like, I remember when this guy came to drop a video. Are you joking? Yeah. This so, went down. so Derele spent like three months and then called me one day and said, this is the number of the guy. And so I called him and he came from Okoko Michael, came to the house. I missed him that day, but he met Jesse and they recorded LOVU. And Jesse came and told me, yo, the guy that you've been looking for came. And so this is maybe like nine months after I've seen that song. So I'll go places, I'll be trying to describe the song and the dance to people. And then... That's how you found Brian Rowe. And then he came the next day. First thing he said was like, bro, I'll sign anything. I'll sign any contract. And I said, well, that means you're not ready to sign yet. So he lived with me for two years, signed a deal with Chocolate City. Now, there are things that Brian Moe, Ice Prince, Jesse, we're upset about that every label in the industry will have to deal with, and they were right about those things. But at the time, I was like, "We like this is your family. We, we know fam. It. We gonna go through this shit, and you we gonna I mean? get through it." So Brian was complaining about something. I think mm -hmm. he felt like he didn't want me as an artist making decisions mm. on his career. Mm, mm, mm. It's dealt with something which called is, the which is allowed to fear. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think maybe after that he felt ostracized. You know, whatever. In, in the family because to, put out. to come at MI at that mm. time within the, you know what I mean, like, the power dynamics, you? everybody mm. would be like, ah, this guy, you try it. You fuck up. You know what I mean? But the thing I think about Brian is I think that his opinions are actually his opinions. You know how somebody will let someone form their opinion? Mm. And I think that his opinion of me... Are really his. Yeah, is, is, is one of respect. I, that's what I think. Mm. And so I just saw him recently and we just dabbed up. We haven't really spoken. Everything is him. good. Yes. I Everything mean, is good. I have nothing personal against Brian Moore, apart from the fact that you left Chocolate City and you were attacking Yeah, you know what? 
a, a lot of times, and like you said, this is something that always happens in the industry. People, I don't think it's ever going to stop. Um, people who get um, assisted along the way, um, unfortunately, just that simple assistance on its own forms expectations. Mm. Mm. It's not something that it's not something that they sit and form the expectations themselves. It just manifests. Mm. Mm. You get me from the experiences that are happening. These are new experiences for for them. People, who, maybe this person has been having a hard time um, climbing or getting through the the levels. You get me, and then all of a sudden, a um, an opportune an opportune moment creates a meeting between two that all of a sudden expedites his forward movement a lot faster than all of a sudden he's like just like that 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 no i don't dare not everywhere i don't see the idea i see stage man are you getting me all of a sudden he's gonna expect it to be like that all the time yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah, I, 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 I find myself as I, I get older, acknowledging a lot more of you know a lot of things that I used to be upset with people for their behavior. Oh, it's happening to me too. You have I, I'll look at someone and just be like, I understand. I understand what you're going through, man. I get it. And guess what? There are different ways to look at it because then when we were going through it, it's like tunnel vision. Once it once a certain thing happens to you, and you feel a certain way, you're locked. In. It's real. It's real. You can feel it. It's real, but it's wrong. Mm. Real things can be wrong, right? So you can feel something about someone and it be completely false. All right. Are you cool with saying swear to God? Ooh. I didn't say God. You know about a, yeah, I mean, I'm cool saying yeah. Swear to God. Swear to God, yeah, yeah, sure. Swear to God, you're still a virgin. <laughs> Dog. You don't want to answer, you can drink. Dog. That boat passed like, <laughs> <laughs> how many years ago? How old am I now? Swear to God, you ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids, swear to God. Swear to God, you ain't got no girl. I do. You got a girl by the time this comes out. Yeah, I do got a girl. I do got a girl. I do got a girl. By the time you're no, 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 no. she in the stomach? Is she about no, 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 no. I do got a girl. Wait, wait, wait. I do got a girl. On the way? I, no, I got a girl. Ah, okay, that's, that's not but, subliminal. But that wasn't subliminal. There's a context mm -hmm. to why I say by the time this comes out. Okay. So, But I do got a girl. Yes. Okay, okay. Is she about to be a wife? I do got a girl. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. You, you heard it first here on Drinks with Kills. Am I about to propose? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me really mess with you right now. Swear to God, you never had some envy for me, yo. I always had love for you, man. Always. Swear to God, you never had no envy for NATO, yo. Swear to God, you never compared Am I and Ice Prince to Ike Chuka and NATO C. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this? Swear to God, people never put you on the spot to, to deal with that kind of conversation. No, no, I, for me... Yo, people put me on the spot for that conversation, no. Yeah, I, I'm I, just speaking yeah. my own truth. No, 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 <laughs> honestly, I, I, I felt that a lot. I felt that that would happen to other people. Okay. But for me, I really mean what I said when I dealt with jealousy with Jesse. Mm, mm. So when I came to the industry, honestly, this is something that me going through with the Vector helped me understand. I right. think I might actually have dealt with a little bit of jealousy in a session with with Jesse too. But but I was I came into this I came into the game like I love like I just love Moon Knight. You said Vector, I could have sworn that, that whole Vector shit was planned, yo. I, I that shit that shit that shit, smelled, that shit smelled so fishy. I could have sworn I was in fucking a papa wolf, man. Dog, let me tell you what one of the one of the hardest conversations I've ever been in my life mm. was the con the first conversation I had with Hennessy. Mm. On the way back here. Shout out to Hennessy, yo. Yeah, Shout out to yeah. Hennessy, by the way. Yeah. This, this Henny is yeah, amazing. Making sense. Amazing. Could all be bleeped out if the right deals and sign. Of course. <laughs> but um, we'll be like, Shout out to Peep. <laughs> this Peep is making sense. <laughs> but um, but yeah, man, that was a tough conversation. It was real. Vector and I had to have a sit down where we had to like be like, who? How many people are coming? Mm -hmm. Who's coming from your team? Who's coming? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna sit down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit down in this person's house and we're gonna talk mm -hmm. because. From my perspective, I get it now. I even understand why he called me rat. Mm. I get it now. Mm. Is that I always had an open hand of generosity mm. to everyone. Mm. But when that happens, when you're like that with everyone, 
then you're definitely going to disappoint people because you're a human being. And when people get disappointed, you can't tell them that you were not a dishonest person, even if you meant well for the person. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you meet someone, hey, hey, no problem, call me on Wednesday. And then you go and check your calendar on Wednesday, you've told four other people to call you. Mm. So you're trying to balance it, but this guy, you don't pick his call. Because you, you wanted to you, help him. Because you've because you graded him somewhere, and these other people you have prioritized more, no, no, no. so you need to see these ones first, no, and you no, can't no, no, see No, 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 not him. even that. Sometimes it just happens. It just happens. It just happens you, that you, you just... forgot. You just forgot, or you just, you know what I'm saying? What, this is, this is now as I learn more about ourselves, this is one of the things with ADHD people. Mm. They feel validation from helping people, mm. but they don't know when to say, my hands are full. full. Mm. They don't know so when they to get say. overwhelmed. So they get overwhelmed. Mm. They can't follow up. They can't call back. They can't. If you have people in your life that you see that are always saying, I want to help, mm -hmm. but then they seem unreliable, mm -hmm. you can go check. A lot of times they're ADHD, mm. right? They really want to help. And so to the people that were not being helped, they're like, fuck this guy. But to me, I remember seeing Ice Prince as a 16 year old kid. You know, you just did, yeah. well, as you just did all that description just now. Do you know who popped in my head? Oh. Zella. Mm. Mm. Zella, you're my guy. Shout out to you, bro. Zella and I produced Shubi Do Do together. Uh, I met Zella in like 2007. Took him in. I kicked him out. Took him in. I kicked him out. I took him in. <laughs> And then he, you know, he landed with a couple. Zella is a very, very talented individual. Very, very talented. But in a course of a conversation, the different tangents that he will bounce. ADHD. Yeah. ADHD. Yeah. And, and, and imagine, like today now, I meet people that are on medication for ADHD. And they're doing much better. It helps them focus, mm -hmm. helps them feel Riddling. better. Riddling. Yeah. But imagine the people that pre-existed this. People just saw them in life and just say, you're a fucking asshole. Why didn't you call my... So, because that's why I was confused during that period. I'm like, why does this Vector guy not like me? Mm. Why? But you, wait, so are you saying Vector has ADHD? No, I'm saying I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do. So, if Vector is sitting down... But you're phone, managing yours. I, I, sure. Do you take medication? No. Okay, so yeah, you're managing sure. yours. Yeah, so you're managing it. So, Vector can sit down and talk to Jesse. And maybe Jesse's really hurt. Mm. And I told me he was going to do this for me and he didn't do it. Mm. The reason I'm not doing it is because I'm off talking to Dice about something else. Mm -hmm. I, met some, I met this young kid from Canada. He has a dope record. How do we need to... Blah, blah, blah. I forgot. Jesse's sitting down. How could I forget this guy? Wow. He told me he's... Me so wait on the air since. You didn't forget me, but I knew person where just they come, you did. He's like this guy. Now, what it took for most of the people in my family is to do the cycle with me. For them to know, and this is when Vector and I met, I said to him, anybody that said negative things about me, tell them, stop, tell me all the positive things Emma has done for me. And when they tell you the list, then you make up your mind yourself. Yeah. And, and in the middle of it, he was like, yeah, somebody said this about you. I was like, it doesn't matter what they say about me. I know that, I'm, I know that outside of a woman that met me when I was in my toxic something, I know that. If you, I ask somebody, tell me, you asked me to do a favor, did I show up for you? So I wait, are you saying that there's nobody out there that is beefing you? There can't be any, you don't have no, beef No, 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 of course people have beef with me. And like, who, who has beef with you? Right now? Yeah, who has beef with you? Um, and why? There's some young artists that I promised to do records for. They yeah. haven't done them. I haven't done them. They don't understand. I just, I just, there's one young girl self, oh my God, she has such a beautiful song. I was just too busy. I was just overwhelmed. Mm. That period. But the song is so beautiful. I feel so bad because when that album comes out, that's why I never do this song. Bro, I just, I just didn't have time. I just that's didn't have to structure true. my you time. You see that? I agree with them. They should be mad at you. You have time. There's always time. I say this thing all the time, no, bro. No, not for idiots. I didn't, see, that's what he was talking about before when he said the time. You know, the three words play. You know. There's always time, bro. But for ADHD people, no, listen. They can't, they can't put listen. it together. No, no, no. It, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Because all you have to do is think the thought. All you have to do is think the thought and stay on it for a second. Are you ADHD? ADD. Okay, you're ADD. Okay. The point I'm trying to I'm trying to make I'm trying to make to you 
is that we've done the work, mm -hmm. the science as humanity, mm -hmm. to understand what's going on in an ADHD person's brain. Mm -hmm. And to say that you can take that position if you want to. No, no, no. Nah. But there's a different position, which is, I understand. There's an educated, what this there's an educated position. Yes, I understand. I was just being impulsive and yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I mean, so, and the reason I say that is because, yeah, you're correct, like, people will get upset. That's one of the things I'm starting, I'm starting to learn now that this person has the right to be upset at me. 100%. And I'm going to sit down and listen to them. It doesn't mean what they're saying is true. It even goes to, it even goes to play in your own personal relationships with relatives, mm. spouses, mm. or girlfriends, or whatever the case may be. It's all about understanding that everybody is allowed their opinion. Hmm. Everybody's allowed their opinion. They, as long as those people who want to be allowed their opinion also know that you too are allowed to have your opinion. And they don't always have to be the same opinion for us to be able to coexist. Just because we don't have the same opinion doesn't mean we're fighting. Hmm. But in reality, every time you don't have the same opinion with someone, you're fighting. It's ridiculous. Do you know what? This, this time I say it might be the deepest thing mm -hmm. that anybody here will hear. Mm. Okay. Humanity, we're a species of animal called the Homo sapiens. Mm -hmm. We're close relatives to the chimpanzees, to the mm -hmm. baboons, the monkeys, mm -hmm. close relatives. Mm -hmm. We survive by sticking together. The human animal can't run faster than a leopard or a giraffe or all these things. So Have we, you ever been chased by a leopard? No, but, if, you go but, but, no, but, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. My brother, you can run as far. Nah, let, let me tell you. A, a human being runs 15 kilometers. Have you, have, have you heard of 15? Nah, nah listen. A leopard that, runs that, 28. That, listen. Hello, I'm trying to tell you something. You said a human being runs 15, Abi. Normally. What of when they are on heavy doses of adrenaline? My dear brother, I'm fear. I did tell you, say, let go <laughs> chop you. Go chop you. Yeah. No question. Lion go chop you. They know you will not be mates. So you know how we take conquer them? We stick together. Now, we stick together by talking to each other. When you talk to somebody and the person tells you, I don't want to hear your story, that's where trauma comes from. <laughs> that's what makes people... So when you're a child and you are hurt and you're trying to tell your mom, this is what I'm doing, your mom says, shut up. It makes you have a reaction because what you're saying to the person, this person is going to abandon me. Do you understand? That at a, at, this is your animal brain saying it's going to abandon you. So on every level, that's why conversations are so important. Yeah. Because at the level, what you're just saying is, well, this person didn't allow me to express myself. And that you makes know, me feel like I can't trust this person. Yeah, you know, that's why, that's why. It's really deep. That's why you're a good, it. that's why you're a very, very, that, no, I was gonna say that's why you're a good, no. That's why you're a great rapper. Appreciate because you're deep, you said Appreciate deep. In fact, speaking of rap, eh, you don't want jam with these people need here. Mm. Mm. Just play them. They need here, um. they need here. Um. The exclusive, exclusive. Is this the new record? <clears throat> is it? This is the new record, right? Right? Okay. So, Mi's new record, never been heard yeah. anywhere before. Yeah. Coming out on the album. What's the title of the album, bro? You do this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to these people. Okay, by now they will know. By the time this comes out, they'll know the name of the album. The uh -huh. album is called The Guy. Um, I've been through a lot, man. The G U Y. The G U Y. The Guy. I've been through a lot, my dear brother. I know you have. And then do you know I hope I'm you talked about it. Or are you beginning to talk about it? I didn't need to. Mm. 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 I didn't need to. Mm. Because mm. I just said, oh shit, I'm the guy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Imagine like, you know. So that's, that's, that's what it is. That's what the statement is. The I'm guy. the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. When you, when you meet the woman you might want to marry, mm -hmm. I hope that as a man, you're like, you tell her, oh, I know you've been looking for someone. Mm -hmm. It's me. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> like, I'm the guy you've been <laughs> looking for. I'm the guy you need. But but no no no. But it's not even dramatic. Do you know when you come no, out of the airport? Mad, Do you know when you come out of the airport mm -hmm. and you're looking for the guy that's here to pick you up? You're the guy. And the guy sees you. He's like, oh, I'm the guy. Or oh, you need that guy that would do trolley. You're looking for a trolley. And yeah, he's like, guy. oh, I'm the guy. I'm the, the guy. guy you're looking mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Hey, who is the manager? Who can help me answer the question? Not me. Not me. I walk in here. Who? Who is Bami Dele? Basically, the guy. Bami Dele called me. So Bami Dele is not going to say, I'm the guy. You know what I'm saying? She would just say, oh, it's me. I'm the guy you're looking for. Not me. And so, 
That's the statement. It's not arrogant. It's not no, proud. No, no. It's not it's dramatic. Confident. It's just it's just confident. It's, it's not even like think Bro, about being the, confident. Think about being the driver. I know. Therefore, it's not even confidence. It's just it is. That's so, what confidence is. So when they is. say, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When that's they it, say, right? hold on, hold on, yeah, say, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't play, don't play it. When they say, we were looking for someone. This person had to have been born in New York and live a real New York life. Mm. Real. Mm. We're not talking about no. We're talking real. We, I'm we, a nigga. We, we, we can talk about it. I'm a nigga on the streets in real. Then that guy, after living that life for like 20 something years, mm. says, I'm going to leave what I'm doing. I'm going to go to Nigeria. Doesn't know, really know anyone. Then he came to Nigeria. We're looking for this person. Though. Imagine we're describing all these things. Then the person arrived in Nigeria, then became a rap star. Then broke rap traditions and made pop hits. Mm. Stood at the Food of power of the music industry, saw everything, all the awards was there everywhere. And then said, oh, you know what? I want to go into film. And now he's an actor and he's doing shows. Like, no, no, no. I'm not talking about like, oh, this guy is a celebrity that's in this film. No, I'm talking about an actor. Who is the guy? The person who put his hand up and say, oh, it's me. I'm the guy. <laughs> that's what the song is about. That's what. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> That was such a heavy breakdown. At one point, I actually thought you were talking about me. You were, oh, oh, my nigga. I mean, I Are you like, the guy? I am the guy. It's you. That, yo, that, yo, that title. It's the guy. I'm the guy. Like, I'm not even proud. I'm not, I'm not proud, though. No, that's, no, 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 that's heavy. I'm the guy. Hey, guy. Shout out to South Soul Time. Mm. Never focus on the yash, man, the baller like JJ. Alhamdulillah, we are what you want, I'm the guy. Jeez. Facts, if you can't decide, been killing this game like it wants to die. Like Jeez. I'm, I'm the guy, ask the guy, you talk, what's the guy? If you don't say I'm the guy, that's the lie because I'm the guy. Listen, eh? if I beef with you, gonna make you rich, so you gotta pay me. Eh? And me and Hector are cool, even though we don't chat on the daily. Little young six coming for the guard MC, man, that shit pay me. Jeez. And my guy Luz, he got the Jordan Connect like he's Israeli. What? Hear me. Some of you never get with the message and that's on glow. What? Me, I like the way that I be feeling now and that's on poke. Anybody want to get to rapping, we can make it happen on my guy's show. But remember, no be only Tiwa Savage, that's on go. Jeez. Enda, 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 enda. What? The guy, bro. They what? Say, they say, who, who is in charge of this dead camera here? What? You go proud. You don't go proud now. You're going to say, no, not me. I'm the guy. What? I'm the guy, not me. That's it. What? Do you see how many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fam, 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 fam. Who, is fam, the, who fam. are we here for? Uh, what, happened, what, happened, what happened with Young Six? I just felt. Shout out to Young Six, <laughs> yo. That's my homie, little homie. You know, he was signed. Yeah. He was signed to Stone Records at a time after True. I had left. True. You know what True. I'm saying? So he came in to the storm, literally. Yeah. So, so, in the middle of all the beef and everything, I would always see that consistently he'd just take a shot at me. Take a shot at you because of what? I don't like know. A, like a shot shot or like? Like a shot. Like I need to get his attention a shot. No, like a shot. Okay. Like like disrespectful. Mm. And then I would hit him up in my DM and be like, yo, bro, what's up? He said, I'm not happy with you, bro. I said, cool, okay, can we meet at so so place so we can talk about it? He said, okay, no problem. I said, let's, we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. I leave, I hear another shot. I'm like, <laughs> but you know how I am now. I'll call the person first. Yeah. I mean, you you can confirm yeah, it. that's nah, how I am. Yeah, I'll call you first 100%. because I'll be like, you reach out. Yeah, can we just just let me let me see from your point. You didn't of view. need to go that. You could have just reached out to yeah. me, but hey, you yeah. done it, and I'm reaching out. Yeah, what's yeah. up? Yeah. So it happened two three times. Did it again. When I said something, he said something about me. I don't internalize. I don't. I know that one day we'll sit and we'll talk. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why I said it pained me. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it pained me. The reason why it pain me, let me let me turn the brand in. They gotta, see, they, they gotta see the drinks with kills. 
kills. Why did it pain you? Why did it pain you? The reason why it pained me, mm -hmm. I want to tell you a story okay. and you're going to understand the story. Okay. You were somewhere, you're having an argument with somebody mm -hmm. and the person insulted you. Insulted me? Yes. I'm telling you a story that happened. Okay. And instead of fucking everybody up in that moment, you stop what you are doing and you put your head down and you stay crying. Do you remember? Yep. And the reason you started crying is not because you couldn't hurt everybody there. Mm -hmm. But because you didn't want to hurt everybody there. Mm -hmm. Do you remember more, what I'm More about? importantly, the person who the pain was coming from. Okay. Yeah. Now, the reason why you put your head down and say crying because you know that if you chose violence, you are the guy. Mm -hmm. For the job. If we're going to fight now, mm -hmm. I'm the guy. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to fight. So the reason it pained me is because when rappers take shots at me, they don't understand that I'm the guy. <laughs> they think you're not the guy, that they could take shots and they're going to win, but they don't understand you that. You don't understand that when I start guy. with you, I'll drag you. I'll, you'll be a national conversation. People mm -hmm. be talking about you. They'll be Googling your matter. They'll be... But that's exactly what they want. But do you know what? That's exactly when they what get they it, want. when they get it, they're not happy. Well, yeah, yeah, but and they I know, know it's that. a bittersweet thing for them. I know that. I know that when I put you through it, you regret. Mm. And I'm the guy for it. But you know what? I'm going to send you a message. Hey, what's up? Yeah. The thing that you're trying to give to me, I need it too. My messages are going to go up. Let's work together. I'm going to win. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you come for me, I use, when it comes for me, I'm the, when someone comes for me, let's say a young artist, you come at me, you attack me. That beef that you're looking for will help me. You ain't closer to the brands than I am. Mm -mm. You ain't got the industry connects that I am. All I need is three months buzz. Mm. Do you know how much money I'll make? Bruh. Do you know how much like, money I'll make? Like sleep for 10 years. So I want it. The only reason I'm not doing it is because when I look at you, I'm like, but this guy doesn't know what he's asking me to do. Mm -hmm. So let me just be calm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be calm. I'm saying, but I'm the guy who... For real. I'm the guy. Yeah, I didn't know. That's a, that's a Jay-Z move. That's, <laughs> so a, just that's like, a Jay Z okay. move. Cool. Okay, cool. Exactly. So, <laughs> with, with six, I just felt. Now, but with six, you can't beef six. You can't beef six. No, but he knows. No, you can't beef six. He knows that he shouldn't have done what he did. He whatever knows. he did, whatever he did, I apologize. Yes. I, and you know, Kills, can I say something? Since yeah. you're apologizing on his behalf, yeah. I know that six is a man of the cloth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The cloth. There's some things that I would do that you very call few, me. Very few, very few. And you few say to like, me, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And based on the cloth, I'm not talking about MI, forget about MI, forget about based on the cloth that mm -hmm. Young Six is from, he mm -hmm. shouldn't have done what he did. 100%. And, 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 and whatever it is, right, I'm sure Six is a man, you know what I'm saying? He's a man. That's what I mean. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people that would do something to me. Men make mistakes. I'll ignore. Men I'll laugh. I'll keep it moving. So he, like, yeah. If he made a mistake, I'm sure like when you guys have that's that all. conversation. So that's what that, that comment is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. saying, okay. It's all good. It it's all good. Out. Yo, look, yo, look. Never try to beef with me, though, bro. No, 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 I just want to tell you right now. I cannot. I, I'm not no, beefing never, never try to beef with me, bro. None of the OGs. Because none I'll, of the OGs. I'll fuck you up, yo. I can't, I'll, I'll, I'm I not, can't even fight. I won't even. Yo, listen, listen. I can't even fight. I will not make no records for you. I can't. You I'm know what I'm saying? Hello. How are you? <laughs> you know what I'll do. Where are the boys and where are the girls? Listen to Kills right now. I will not, rec I will not record this rap, bro. Oh. This rap, I will not record it. I, I will carry the table, I will raise it up, and I will bring it down. The only problem is that the down that I'm bringing it upon will be his head. That's it. Because <laughs> he should not be dissing me. Can I just say something? Guys, why hasn't anybody ever come for me? They come not, for you a lot. No, because they don't want to, they can't fight, bro. That's the reason why. No, they just can't be home. that. No, you know what? No, when you're no, recording it. No, chill. Hey, bro, can I tell you why? Sorry, when you're, sorry. <laughs> when you're recording it, your engineer will be like, bro. My engineer was just like, bro, because I just flicked the mic. Your brother will be like, who are you dissing? Not me and you. Not like you will say who was in that session. Nah, man. I think, I think, that's, I think that's old. I think that's, that, uh, that sentiment is old. My G. Anyway. People that don't know. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's people leave that it. don't know. You know, before you put out the record, you have to go through one or two. Maybe the blog guy will call you and say, bros, are you sure? It's like someone in the film industry being like, oh, I want to diss Jim Ike. Yes, I was going to say something, but you, why are you call Jim? Jim is coming. When is Jim coming? Next week, next week. Why okay. would you diss Jim Ike? Why? Bruh, that guy, Uche Madrago. Why? He's, because he's a dollar. Because you know that <laughs> in the future, one day, you guys are going to see each other. You know, the only reason someone would diss 
Jim is for the exact reason this guy did to get himself noticed. Mm. Okay. Period. Because well, that's a great because, avenue to get to Because it's a risk. It's a huge risk. It's a huge brother. risk and it comes with a lot of risk bus boost. Bro. If there's ever any kind of okay. Respect to the big bro, yeah. but there are some and people that what? he's also <laughs> There are some people that everybody should know that. Hey, you know what? This is dissing back and forth that mm. we do in the industry. There's Keep a higher risk. There's a, there's a boundary. There's a higher risk to this. So if you're willing to take the higher risk, you know what I mean, then okay, sure, go ahead. But just know. You know what I mean? It's like TI and Floyd Mayweather got into it. TI was like and Floyd was looking at him the whole time. Because Yo, that's no that's a that's a funny one. That's a funny one. That's actually no, that's a funny one. In person that's, No 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 that's that's a funny one, bro. That's right. a funny one because right. you can't Tell look at it as in how you gonna fuck with Floyd? You know how much money Floyd got? No, no, no. Like I'm talking about the skills he Floyd has in that moment. And it, what, were we talking about fighting skills? Yes. Oh, is that what it was? It was in a, in a, oh, no, in a you pub together. Oh, he needed. He need to not want to fight Ti. Bro, he need to not want to fight. Let me, bro. <laughs> let me explain to you. Want, yo, bro, there are men let, and there are men. It's not yes. about. Let me explain to you. Guys. You know what you said before. No, I understand what Connect. you're saying. Men from the cloth. You get me? But I understand what you're saying. saying. You don't fuck with. I get what you're saying. Huh. But all I'm saying is that in that fight, mm. Floyd, if he punches Ti, yeah, he goes to jail yeah, because he's using his arms, and, which are yeah, weapons. And they're weapons, yes. But for him to punch Ti, he needs something to happen, which is for Ti to punch him. So you say he's in self-defense. Self-defense. Okay. okay. Now, but but so but, if I'm Ti's friend, and we're getting to the argument, what, what I'm trying to tell you is, if it gets to that, Ti is not punching. I mean, okay, he's come out and he went in for gun sure, charges. Sure, sure. I understand so he's what you mean. Be careful. I understand what you mean. But it's levels. They're levels. That's what I'm saying. Ti, Ti is a different level. That's I got what you. I'm saying. I got you. That's I got what you. I'm I got saying. You. That's what I'm saying. Bad Speaking analogy. Ti, bad who, analogy. Who are your top five all time? All time? All time. Top five rappers. This all is time. This is not just my top five. This is the actual top five. No, of the guy. No, of all time. This is the best top five you're ever gonna hear. You ready? Number one is Jay Okay, is this in is this in greatest of all time? In in particular order or in no particular order? In particular order. In particular one. order. Okay. Number one is Jay Z. Okay. If you want to assess the greatest, you have to create categories. Don't explain yourself. Yes. And in every category, you don't need Jay-Z to explain yourself, bro. Just give it to me. Yeah. Jay Z. Number one. Number two, greatest of all time is Tupac Shakur. Tupac is a single. Don't explain yourself. Okay. <laughs> I want to explain yourself. Tupac is number two. Number three. Number three is Nas. Okay. Number four. Number four. Here you go. <laughs> I don't have time to miss it. You said Jay Z, Tupac, Nas. Right? Number four. Number four is what? You said great. You said this is gonna be the best I ever heard. Come on, make Eminem. it right. Eminem is number four. Number four, Eminem. Yes. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm an Eminem fan. Like my favorites, I don't put him in my top ten, even though I'm a huge fan of him. But I don't put him in my top ten. Okay. But there's a reason why on the greatest list he has to be number four. Okay. And number five is Kendrick Lamar. And these are the top five. These are the top five greatest rappers of all time. Number one, Jay Z. Number two, Tupac Shakur. Number three, Nas. Number four, Eminem. And number five, Kendrick Lamar. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. You think you're slick? I am slick. No, 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 you're not slick because I'm about to expose you. <laughs> I, I see what you slick. did there. I see what you did there. You can't argue this list. I see what you did there. You fucked with me. Biggie's because, not there. Because it's glaring. That's, you, that's how you do Jay-Z as number there. one. You see, you, see, you think he's slick. You're not slick. <laughs> you're not slick, son. Hope you're not there. slick. You're not slick. Hope is dead. I'm going to give you my top five. All right, let's go. Unfortunately for you, Oh, well, I gotta be number one. If not, I don't think you should. I'm an East Coast baby. I walk out. Inside out. If Hove is not number one, I walk out, bro. Like, what are we doing here? I'm sorry. Hove is not number one. Number zero? Don't walk out. You doing zero to four or what? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing my one to five. Okay. You ready? Let me hear, let me hear. Number one. For Ike Chiku Onanaku. I'm glad you're saying all this because 
Number one. If Jay-Z is not number one, we're not serious yet. Number one, Biggie Smalls. After this. Drink. Number two. I know why you're listen, saying it. Listen to me. But this is why you have you to just, 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 just listen to this me. This is why. Just listen to me. Okay, number, number one. Two. Biggie Smalls. Number two. Jay-Z. Sean Carter. Okay. Number three. This is rare. It really gets fucked up for you. <laughs> DMX. Okay. Okay. Number four. This is where it really, really, really gets fucked up for you. Actually, I'm sorry. I fucked up. Biggie. J. Nas. D. Busta Rhymes. Okay. Okay. That's my top five. Okay. You know what? That's my top five all time. Can I, can I say something? When I look at this... That's cool, though. That's really cool. Um, I would like to hear who your top five right now are. Globally. Top, top five. five right now. Globally. Right now. Yes. Drake, number one. One. I agree with that. Go on. J. Cole, number two. Okay. Little Baby, you? number three. Okay. There we go. It's tough. I got to be careful. Because you said five. I yeah, wish right you said now. ten. No, I no, wish no, you no, said no, ten. no, 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 no. It's got to be squeezed. Let's give the top guys their due. Little Baby, number three. I said J. Cole, number two, right? Yeah. Okay. So Drake, J. Cole. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. The Migos, number four. Okay. I want to put a female in, and Cardi B does deserve to be in there. She so really let's call does. it Cardi. Five. Because she should be there. Okay, but I, I want to say... It's not about male and female. But I want to say... Yeah. I do want to say that Kendrick should be in there. Because, it, because you don't make me understand now, because that's kind of like a the contradiction. Only reason why, the, the reason why Kendrick... You have to say Kendrick. You see, the reason why Kendrick doesn't get in the conversations in right now is because he no takes long. Out, he right. takes long to breaks. Stuff out. It's okay. So when you're saying right now, it's tough. It's okay. It's okay. But I get it. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. But bro. we're still like, his album is still new music today. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about how legendary he is. I understand how legendary like Kendrick his, is. His music. From I understand down how. I understand still how futuristic I, today. Check it out. This is what I'm saying. Kendrick will definitely, at some point, be that top five of all time, right? But not yet. Yeah, just not right in this moment right here. Gotcha. That's just my opinion. Gotcha. It might be different for other people, and it takes absolutely nothing away top from 10, what Kendrick Nas has is done. Nas in the top ten. Of course. Nas is in the top ten right now. He is. Top ten right my, now? Top Nas five. Is. Top five. He is right now for yeah. me for my top five. You didn't finish your top five. So you said, no, no, you said Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, I'm sorry, Drake, Drake J. Cole, J. Cole Lil, Baby, Lil Baby, Migos, Kendrick. 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 Okay, okay. For me, my top Kendrick five. Kendrick Cardi. Ty. Okay. For me, my top five. That's crazy because my top, my, my number four, they're tied. Um, for me, it's Drake. I, I will put, okay. Don't take this the wrong way. Two people are in my top position, Drake and Future. Uh, so I put, I, I escape with Future, I put him in the R&B category. And he's top, and he's top. But he just because- He would for that. <laughs> no, but the re only reason is just because he doesn't have any song where he's only rapping without melody. Mm, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. So, I, so he's I still hip hop. If you've never he's still just- hip hop. He is hip hop. But he's not R&B. He's hip hop, not R&B. You can't be hip hop and be R and B. Be R and B, bro. No, he's R and B. That R and B. Then then Drake is R and B. R and bro. R Kelly used to have so, the so, do rag so, on. So you say sometimes R Kelly's R and B. If I just take Drake's R rap. Kelly's an R and B thug. He's not a. <laughs> what about Jaheem? Jaheem was R and B. I knew Jaheem. Jersey. Jaheem's R and B. <laughs> he never rapped. <laughs> well, Jaheem but, actually but used to rap in the never streets. Rapped. Yeah, no, nah, he do. Nah. That's that down south rap. No, he's nah, never he's never had like. I just video came in his face. I was all of a sudden telling the dude if he coming, never telling the dude he's only killing them one moment in the dude. Got to be on melody. Got to be on melody, bro. He's Gotta rapping. Be on you melody. might you might not know what he's saying, but he's rapping. And if you actually listen, you'll hear what he's saying. All right. Anyway, all right. let's move on. Top five. This is the most important one. I was doing all that just to get to this. Yeah, I was doing all that just to get to this. In fact, before I even get to this. Top five rappers all time in Nigeria. All time? Can I remove myself from this? 
No. And you putting yourself in the list does not make you arrogant, conceited, vain. No, or I'm the guy. Uh, you're the guy. <laughs> exactly. I'm so the you guy. Should, you need to okay. be more about where you place yourself, but don't put it in any particular order. Just give me five. Okay, just give you five yeah. rappers. The first name you say doesn't mean that's who is on the on the top. Just give me five. Five rappers. Straight up. Hold on. I'm waiting. Mushi Ojo Alegba, Mushi Ojo Alegba, Mushi Ojo Alegba. Rest course. You did it. It's too, hard. it's too hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. The question is too hard. Bro, come on now. It's too hard. Bro, come on. Just start somewhere and end somewhere and let it be that. It's you know? too hard. That's, it. That's actually, you're not a punk. You are not a punk. The MI that I know, Judah Baga, is not a punk. Okay? It's too hard. You are trying to take the punk way out. It's too hard. You have, no, listen. I'm going to do mine. Ah! Fuck! It's yeah. too hard, bro! I'm, I'm gonna do my. The question is too hard! It's, I'm gonna show you how hard you know it why? is. I'm gonna show you how hard it is. No! No! It's too hard! This question is too hard! Can you it's stop, too stop, hard! Stop. There's no top five. Let me show you how the hard it is. The answer is there's no top five in Nigeria. There's no top five. Select your own top five. That's the real answer. It's too hard, let bro! Me show you one. Let me show you how hard it is. You know, because at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're putting a little too much pressure on yourself based on relationships. Based bro, they go, on, they go based cut on. this clip, they go stream out. Uh -huh. Joey can go write article about this clip. With, uh, with, <laughs> do you have seen? It's too much pressure, bro. Hello. Right now, you see, you're just listing this thing. Listen. You don't understand, Kills. You don't understand that when you say your list, you're going to run it to I somebody. I said of all and the time. Person, the person is going to say, really? Nigeria rappers all okay, time. Okay, good. Let me know Stop your five. being a pussy. Let me know your five. Come on. Let's go. Let me know your five. Okay. For Nigeria of all time, from the top top boys from before I came to Nigeria, I'm, I'm, I can all only, time. I will only pick one name, all right, and the rest can be mad at me, all right. Some people will pick one, some people will pick the other because there were two main guys from the time before me. As rappers, there was one that was more successful than the other one, so I have to go with him, Rugged Man. Bang, bro! You go leave mode out of your fucking top five. You're a joker. I just talked no, to mode. I'm not here. I just talked to I'm mode not here, a few bro. days I'm ago. Leaving, I'm leaving. I just, okay, so wait, so no, wait, so wait. Let's rewind. No, okay. So let's rewind. No, don't, please, don't, don't, do don't stop recording. So Kills, let's rewind. No, so let's rewind. Hush, 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 hush. Watch this. Watch this. Watch his reaction. Now. <laughs> so from this. The era, the era before me, right? Before I got here, there were two guys, and I can only pick one. So from that era, you know, there was one guy that was the maddest with the lyrics and the metaphors, and he was a liquid swords displayer, and the guy took the game to the next level as far as lyricists were concerned. Nobody came near him no. as far as lyrics were concerned. No, nobody. nobody. No, no. So that's the one that I'll pick. Mode nine. Bam. Okay. Yeah. You see, it could have. What I just did was show you. But the point I'm trying to make to you. What I'm, no, 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 I know the point you're trying to make. Are we leaving Rugged Man out of your I, top I, five? I, I get you. Listen, listen, listen. When they now put the records, bro. When they now put the records, the hits. Mode is, mode is gonna suffer because Rugged has more hits. Do you understand what I'm saying? But okay, as, actually, let me not do this now. Let me let you take your five list, the top five list. Okay, so yeah. mode, mode. Because you're making me go too deep. Yes. You yeah. get me. But but this I'm I can, trying to save I can you guarantee you. I'm trying to save you. Let's don't talk, save me nothing. There's nothing to save. There's okay. nothing to okay. save because okay. this is just a conversation. Uh, right, Everybody cool. has their own opinion. Cool, 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 cool. And I guarantee you, eh? I guarantee you that mode nine and rugged have been dealing with this shit that we're the doing right now. Their whole, whole career. Yeah, fact. Because there were the two. Easy facts, bro. That's, That's why, why I started, started with saying facts. you're picking there one. There are the two. So you're picking one. Exactly. So why are you picking? Ha, ah, mode is my very, very, very close. In fact, I'm closer to mode than I am to rugged. That's the honest truth. But based on records and the industry and the business, I would have to pick rugged over mode. Okay. I would have to. Rugged number I would one. have to. Got you. I would have to. I would have to. Based on the numbers, based on that. You got, got you. I hear you. Now, um, that aside. We have four spaces. <laughs> Even me when they talk <laughs> about this. And the four I say, go ahead. Go ahead. Number one, number one. Okay. Good, number two. All right, number two. Rappers, all time, Nigeria. Gee, my brother, gee, it's too hard. There's no answer, my brother. Who? Facts. Facts! In fact, eh? But you have to say it out. You have to say it out. Before I say it out, okay. Okay. Say it out. Okay. let me say this. Facts. And let me ask this. Would you say that that name that I just said should Facts. actually be 
part of those top two to make it three instead of two or he doesn't enter there? That's a dangerous question. It's a very dangerous question. But this is your list. I'm going to let you get it out. But answer my question first. You want to answer the question with me too. <laughs> he was doing a different thing. He, these two were... Mm -mm, mm -mm. These they were two. all doing hip hop. They were all doing rap. No, but let me explain the difference. Let me explain the difference. There was an audience for rap and some people were growing it. Some people were outside that audience and were telling people you need to listen to rap music. And mm. that's what this guy did. Mm. Mm. He was mainstream. Mm. Mm. And in the middle of a pop record, he rap. Just in case you don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Idris Abdul Karim. Okay? Facts. One of the baddest rappers to ever grace the stage. People, people diss him he for was saying gangsta. gangsta. People diss him for saying miggity, 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 miggity. Mm. He was just telling people, this shit is dope. Listen to well, guess what? Miggity, miggity, miggity. So when M.I. came and said, he said, oh, no, feli, feli, I'm spitting like Machiavelli. I'm always inside your telly. Your liberty is already in their brain because of the miggity, miggity, miggity. He told them, look for the guy that said miggity, miggity, miggity. So, is he in the top five? Alta? He has to be there. Okay, so I got two. Rugged, Idris, no yeah, order. You see, and the reason why it's not more rugged and Idris at the top because you have to pick two. We have to skim it, you know, but there's there are too many errors because they were and they were at the tail. Remember what you're telling me? Don't explain error. yourself. Oh, okay. Two. <laughs> two. Two. I got All right. Rugged Idris. Rugged Idris. Um, two they're going crazy. Damn, now we only got three spots. Three spots! I told you there's no answer. And there are plenty niggas though. My brother, there there's no answer. Do you know why? You know what I would do with the, with many with with, with uh, three, three out of those spots, I would be a selfish biased individual and put me and NATO in two of them Bam. And, and then tell you to pick a spot for you or Ice or Jesse or now, somebody and then yeah. I'm like that's, that's my number. number my brother you've said it fast so let's let's take this top five days you say Ikechiku first of all Ikechiku answers the question about the East because you got to shout out the East you have to MC Loaf Mama, but there were guys. All oh, these other guys. Oh, but there were guys with the East. So yes, you don't speak about the East. There were guys with oh, Iblis, Fino, Rock. all these guys. But I can say that Ike Chiku is going to take the mantle of the East. He deserves it. He has the hit record. He had the hit records when other people didn't have hit records. His first hit record is My Name is Ike Chiku. When people were not. So he deserves it. Let's give him the East spot. Then we say NATO C. In terms of hit rap music in Nigeria, who wants to go there? Nobody. Continental, if Ice Prince comes and says Ole Kool, I need to, need to say Kini Big Deal. I ran the continent. I was the number one rapper in Africa. Hey, when you guys when you guys say Ole Kool and, and Kini Big Deal, I say wind them well. Why? Do you understand? <laughs> so, <laughs> now, and then you say, no, I, no, I, get, I get them, bro. Africa is number one. But, but, but that's listen, what I'm trying to but prove. Listen, my point is, the next person I was going to say is, Am I? Now listen, so let's say this is your five list. That's my five right there. Rugged, Nato, Ice, uh, Nato, Nato kills, Nato kills, Rugged. Now, I want to tell you the five you've left out. Go on. Dude, I didn't leave, I didn't, it's not no, that. No, let me tell you the five you left out. I let me just tell you five that you left Go out. Go on. I feel bad for you, bro. Go on. Mode nine. No, no, no. Remember, we no, already no, had No, 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 you can't do that. We already had that conversation. When I told you, it was too hard. We already had that no, no, conversation. No, no, no. We've had that is not in your top five. But we already had this conversation. Olamide Bado. Oh, my God. Olamide Bado. Olamide Bado. Stop now. Fino Fino. Oh, my God. Stop Fino now. Fino Fino. Stop now. I said, Ice Prince Zamani. Oh, my God. Stop now. I said it was biased now. Files the bad guy has been giving oh us my God, versus Jesus. every bro, every fucking year. Files has been there every year. Show them come and making yeah, music. Oh my God, oh my God. There's no answer, bro. I There's said no I was, answer. I said it was a biased list. Now, see when it goes. Viral, Even right now, I'm leaving people hello, off the list. How are you? When it goes final, who says hello? How are you? My brother, Olamide. There's no list, bro. Listen, listen. That's why I said. Just do it because you're you're thinking too hard. I can't you know do sometimes eh, I can't sometimes do eh, sometimes eh, people panic a little too much about what other people are going to feel and say from what they say. I can't do it. Me, I can't. But do it. if you set a pre, if you set a pretext, we haven't mentioned LD the Dawn. There are many people with names. We haven't mentioned LD the Dawn. Bro, this is, when nobody was mention. rapping, when nobody was rapping, LD the Dawn said, "I'm going to give you guys a rap crew." Yo, what about what about Sidious? Do you remember that name? Sidious. My brother, we're in trouble. Sidious. What about Freestyle? Sidious, Sidious decided to come back and change after getting dental. Something say, I'm Dr. Sid. And I don't rap anymore. What about Freestyle, bro? To me, that's the best rap verse. You, you, you violated the heavens, bro. That's why your shit fucking up, bro. 
You violated the heavens. The gods are angry with you. The gods cannot How be can angry. you keep mode nine out of your top five? The gods cannot be angry with Kratos. Yay. I am Kratos. Guys, okay. I can't answer this question. There's no answer. All right. What about top five right now? Top five right now I can do. My top two out of the top five right now is Orlando Gianfino. Okay. Fill the blanks. Top Anybody five else right want to fill in under that? Fine. Fine. Yes. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. it listen. This well, you should be on the fucking show. <laughs> Fix that shit, TK. Listen, guys. So you understand what happens. Sometimes they'll cut, and this will happen, but you see it happening live. Guys, shout out to TK Production. Right on, right on the money. Right this on the This is what happens when you say sacrilegious shit on your show. Your life starts to... Okay. How can you... Okay, top five right now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this one more time well, before you tell me your top five right now. At the end of the day, it's no disrespect to nobody. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Do you facts. understand? It's all love. It's all love. Because every name that you it's mentioned. It's a great conversation. Every name that you mentioned. Olamide, Fino, LD, Freestyle. All these names. They are huge people that played. In fact, every single one that you just mentioned played a huge role. In the change of the game in the industry, yeah, specifically yeah. when called Ill Bliss and Olamide, when called Ill Bliss, Ill Bliss, Ill Bliss came back from Jand. Once Ill Bliss came back from Jand, do you Do you know that Ill Bliss got records in '97? Yo, 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 thoroughbreds. Yo, me and him just had this conversation. I saw you was with him the other day. Me and him just had this conversation. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm talking about when trouble. Lord of Ajasa. MC Loaf. MC Loaf. Mr. Raw. Mr. Raw. Do you know what Mr. Raw was doing hip-hop gyration? Forget Mr. Raw. Nigga Raw. Nigga Raw. <laughs> hey, bro. I can't answer this question. But I can what are you talking about? I can tell you top five right now. Do you understand? I, it's, not like I don't yeah. it's not like I don't recognize or represent or, or hail these dudes. You know what I'm saying? But my preference, everybody has their own preference. Medicinal, medicinal. Story. Everybody has their own preference. You get me? So that was my preference. For top five right now, Olamide and Fino have to be at my top. All right? And then there are three spots at the bottom. And as of right now, as far as rap is concerned, I would slide Black Bones and Laddie Poe. Mm. Mm. I don't have a third guy, a last guy, a fifth guy. I don't have a fifth guy. I would, I would, so the album that Olamide put out this year. Oh yet. shit, oh no, he hasn't put out anything. Yeah, I'll tell you, no, he really, we no, scoot, I was going to say something. We scooted, we scooted, come on. Oh yeah, 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 I have the album. I mean, I was, he's one, number one and number two, yeah. Olamide and Fido. So for me, I wouldn't put either of them in my top five for the year. And the reason why. No, it's not about for the year, it's about right, right now. now. Right now, I wouldn't put them top five right okay. now. Okay. For me right now is for me to rep to the art of MCing. Mm -hmm. The people that transcend it in a year. So okay. to me, Olamide and Fino have both transcended, like they've, they've, they've transcended it, they're now mixing genres, and I want to I wanna appreciate Olamide in the category he is. Okay, which okay, is so basically what you're saying Olamide is, is he's no Afro longer, category. yeah, he's no longer he's a top five only. He's, he's gone, he's transcended, like He's an Afrobeat artist, and he should be respected. He's an Afrobeat artist that can yeah. rap, that can sing, that can do everything. I got you. Yeah, he's in the higher category. So you, who's Bro, your I'm number trying to go one in your top five? So right now, mm -hmm. The right now category for me, number one, is Black Bones. Okay. Black Bones is the guy that has... That sounds biased, but I'll let it slide. No, but he's kept but it But he's Chocolate City. But he said, but I'm he's the best Chocolate City. Alive. I'm this. But he's Chocolate City. So we'll just let it slide. It's your, it's your sure. preference. You're allowed. Sure. I'm just letting you know. You're allowed. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Uh -huh. Number nice one. one. Okay, number two. There. Number two is Laddie Poe. Number three. Number three. Pals. Number four. And Faust could easily be number, number one. Four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Psycho YP. Who? Psycho YP. Look for Psycho YP. He's real. He's real. Okay, but if I have to look for him, that means he's not supposed to rate with these people that you're speaking of. But, that's, oh, but it's a preference. It's a preference. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Psycho YP. I'm going to look for him. You already know. You tell me. I'm going to look for him. So that's, we have four. Who was the first guy again? Black, Black Bones, Laddie Poe, Laddie Poe, Faust. Faust. No, 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 no. Black Faust. Bones, Laddie Poe, Laddie Faust. Poe. There was somebody else after. Faust, then Psycho YP. Okay. And then number five right now. That's 
what I heard. It's a tough one. I was gonna say Dremo. They may, not right now. I was gonna say Dremo. Not yeah, right because now. Like, Dremo, yeah. Dremo's there. Like, Dremo, and Dremo was hot. Dremo's of the decade. When you talk about the era, mm. like to me, I have all time, the era, right now. Mm. They're different categories. So mm. right now, I just want to give props to the people that are rapping now. Okay. What today. about what about Khalil? Get OP. He wouldn't be me. He wouldn't be right now. Okay. Who else is rapping? Even Sauce Kid would be right now over him because Sauce Kid been putting his put in that work. Okay. You know what I mean? I put you even like every time I hear from you, mm. I'm like, this is what I'm they're supposed to be. Though. I'm transcending. I'm among them transcending. <laughs> no, you know no, what no. I'm saying? Cause I ain't rapping right now. I'm acting right now. And if I ain't acting right now, I'm packing right now. You understand what a nigga be doing when he's rapping right now? See me? I'm not lagging right now. I'm just sagging right now. As for me, I'm knocking right now. Now, back to the show, guys. <laughs> 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 we don't drink. Now the major problem is that. Nah, man. I think we got everything covered, though. Because yeah. um, even though you're not going to give us your top five all time, uh, it's no, impossible. Top five, top five Nigerian rappers right now. Right now, okay. I told you. Black Bones. Black Bones. Ladi Po. Ladi Po. Files. Files. Psycho YP. Psycho YP. Then you said Sauce. And what yeah, I could I could give Sauce, sauce. because. Everything Sauce has done this year. And it, it, Sinzu, like, go check out Sinzu's catalog this year. It's been fire. Oh, no, I know people, you know, you know. I know people are not paying attention. Every verse, he sent me a verse for TBDK. Mm. Fucking flames. Yeah. He sent me a 32 bar verse when I needed the song to be three minutes. But it was just, I couldn't cut any part about it. Speaking about songs, yeah. we're about to play a song, right? Tell me. When we play this song, mm. it's your song. Mm. You cannot move. I got you. No, 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 listen, 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 listen to I'm the listening. rules. You can't move, bop, twitch, speak, mime, anything. Can I be on my phone? No. Shit. Sure. Yeah, you see how you're sitting right now? Okay. You just gotta sit and listen. Okay. And not be phased. The minute you don't put the drink down, the minute you phase, you're gonna have to drink some more. Shit. Sure. All right, let's do it. You ready? Spin that cup around for me so they can see that drinks with kills. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, that's what show we on. We on drinks with kills, and we gonna make sure the best you best drink. Show all time. Best show all time. Shout out to Adi Ray in the background. That's Mi's People's Chocolate City. You already know what it is. I nearly the money. Like the. Got you. 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 And the asses get the fat. Thank you, bro. I actually really appreciate you. People don't understand that, you know. We actually have a relationship. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. I, I would like for it to be more. You know, I like. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I would like for us, you know, to no, 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 spend really. more time. You get me? Honestly. Because, you I, know, I, I, I even, I even Jesse speak. used to say this shit all the time, yo. Metal sharpens metal. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. So it's like. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest and say to you that last year or two years ago, a lot of stuff happened. In the middle of it, him and I were in a conversation one day. We were just talking. Two men on the call. Like, there was no, like, I'm trying to be brave. I'm trying to do bravado. It was just two people talking. And I really got to ap appreciate you. I really, I really, in that moment, I really got to appreciate you. Like, I really, I really did. And I got to say the same. And I, I got to say, say the same. I, I want to say that one of the things he said was like, yo, M, but I've... And I'll say this so that the younger cast can pay attention. When, when someone in your industry does this to you so you don't make the same mistake I did, he's like, but Em, I reach out to you to talk to you and you don't return my call. And you were right. I had my excuses. Oh, I'm busy, I'm doing so much, I'm doing that. But it's always time. <laughs> but then I was like, oh shit, this is what happens when you don't return the call. Somebody just, just disappointed in you. And not because and you wanted you anything. Mm -mm. Just you're my brother. Let's let's kick it. And you. what you might not have been aware of is that was actually like I was a repeat offender of that same crime. Mm. So part of my learning from you know committing that crime, you know, was respect. And talking to me in that moment, it's not okay. And people, people, you know what? people, people go through things, learn from the things, keep it to themselves. Dog, you know what? I learn from something and I spread it. Dog, did you try to say something? Up until that moment, I was in war mode with Vector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War mode, yeah, let's know, go. I know. I know. 
Shabi, you've been talking about me for years, Abi. Okay, let's ready, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. If you think about how I was up until that moment, mm -hmm. I was trolling him, sending messages every day. Mm -hmm. You think you're the guy? Mm -hmm. I your song is trash. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I'll, I'll send you money. You do so. I was trolling him every day. Yo, then you want to talk about that shit? <laughs> and then we had a conversation, and you were like, but Emma, you didn't return my call. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that's why people are upset with me. Oh. And then everything changed from mm -hmm. that moment. Out. That's what I was like, oh, I understand why Vector is saying this thing. Mm. Vector is actually speaking for people that don't have the courage to tell me how they feel. Mm. There are many people that are unhappy with me. Mm. Vector has spoken to most of them. Mm. And he's like, I know they fear this guy, fuck mm -hmm, this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was an important message for me to hear. Mm -hmm to go back and be like... You, gotta, you actually gotta, there's gotta be some flattery in that at some point because at the end of the day, you gotta recognize the fact that you're not a target for no reason. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. I respect that. You have to make sense of it. Yeah. And I also want to say something about Vector. I have a short list of people that I will respond to. Mm. 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 Beyond that, I'll reach out to you. There are two reasons why I reach out to you. Number one, I respect you. You know, to be honest. So, I respect you. So, no matter what Ikechuku says to me on earth, the first thing I'll do, I'll call him and be like, big homie. I'll first be like, I'm your younger brother. Why are you doing this to your younger brother? But the second reason is that I just say to myself, if I respond to this person, I lose. If you hear the first line of that song, I lose, you win. Like, you're beneath. For me to respond to Vector, Vector honestly, is the largest compliment because Vector is someone that cannot be ignored. Sorry, bro. He's, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He's. And, and, yeah. And I'm saying what I'm saying to buttress what you're saying because you you sparked the thought and I've been in I've been in thought since. You know how I said top five right now. Uh, I tell I'm there. Dog, we didn't mention BC. Wow. We fucking joking, bro. Do you understand? We joking, bro. Let me tell you what Vector's role is. Can I can I tell you what Vector's role is in all this? Vector's role is that he said, "Oh, you guys think rappers from the West are only Yoruba rappers?" Mm. Mm. Oh, so the narrative mm. is that the dope rappers are going to come from Yankee or from the North. Mm. The Yoruba rappers mm. are going to come from the West and the Igbo rappers are going to come from the East. Oh, let me show you guys that the dope rapper will come from the West. Mm. That's Vector. Mm. Now he's always been... Who you got? I'm there. He's That's always there. He's always been repping the flag. You know who we got to also put on that list though? Who? It's a kid. He started rapping in like 97. No, 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 in, in 2004, sorry. Yeah, okay. 2004. Kept rapping, got ignored, did the beef thing, got ignored, got ignored, got ignored, got ignored. Kept rapping, kept rapping, kept rapping, kept rapping, kept rapping. 2017, Rose. 2020, God's Engineering. 2021, Golden, AQ. AQ, been rapping for almost 20 years, bro. Damn near 20 years, every year, I'm here. They ignored him, bro. Every year we ignored him. We don't even mention him in conversation. We don't. But for 20 years he's been here. When, when Rugged was rapping, AQ was rapping. When M.I. was rapping, AQ was rapping. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you if you know this person. We go hard. So sick of the sorrow every time we got a promise.